New York hasn't done a single good thing for gun rights, unless you count violating them bad enough to bring us the Bruin decision. Until now. And that's because they came after the NRA so hard that Wayne LaPierre has finally resigned. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now that I have embarrassed myself on the internet, you are not getting an intro like that ever again. New York has been coming after Wayne and the NRA for years in a series of lawsuits that I have covered pretty extensively from the start. The first one is here and details everything we initially learned from those lawsuits, which is basically that Wayne LaPierre and his closest buddies have been embezzling your membership dues for years and using them for trips to the Bahamas and fancy new suits and all kinds of fun things. He resisted all kinds of financial audits, kicked out anyone that was on to him, and kicked out anybody who said he should step down or get voted out. He is not a dictator. This information came out years ago, and still, somehow, he stayed in charge. Anyone against him on the board got stripped of their positions, and everyone left kept voting for him, despite every NRA member I've spoken to over the years saying that he was destroying the organization and needed to go. And frankly, is why I didn't renew my membership and why I never go to the NRA meetings that everyone always asks me to go to because I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut. Though funny story, I did almost get kicked out of my state libertarian convention once when I still lived in Massachusetts, and wouldn't it be a funny story if I also got kicked out of an NRA meeting? Though probably not very good for business. Kiss any networking goodbye. Though who am I kidding, I am terrible at networking anyway. Anyway. On Friday, we finally got our wish. He announced that effective January 31st, he would be stepping down. He cited health reasons, wink wink, for his resignation, though New York AG Letitia James says that it is proof positive of the allegations against him, and I'd say it doesn't look like she's wrong. After all, we have seen the financial records and receipts. We already had the proof. This is just the cherry on the cake. We've already seen the documents that he spent millions of dollars on private flights, some of which he wasn't even on. We saw that he sent his wife to the Bahamas. We saw that he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on new suits in Beverly Hills. We saw him give millions of dollars in random bonuses and kickbacks to his BFFs in return for votes. We know he had bizarre contracts with his insider lawyers and ad companies. We know he tried to hide from financial audits. Together, he and three other board members collectively took 64 million dollars in NRA assets through bogus business expenses over the course of only three years. He is a slimy snake and deserves to go to jail. The New York lawsuits, of course, are going after him not out of concern for the NRA members who were robbed, but to try and dismantle the organization altogether. They're not coming from an altruistic place, but I do agree with them that LaPierre needs to be held accountable. Via a statement on the NRA website, With pride in all that we have accomplished, I am announcing my resignation from the NRA. I have been a card-carrying member of this organization for most of my adult life, and I will never stop supporting the NRA and its fight to defend Second Amendment freedom. My passion for our cause burns as deeply as ever. To which I say, why, yes, Wayne, tell us what exactly you have done for our Second Amendment freedoms. His resignation came just as jury selection for the civil corruption trials against him and three other board members came to an end. The trial will start in six weeks, and if found guilty, Wayne will allegedly have to pay all of that money back, which would, ironically, make Letitia James the biggest fundraiser the NRA has ever seen. Man, I love a happy ending. That's it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for tuning in. Good riddance, Wayne LaPierre, and happy shooting.